telling you, you're going to love this place. Charlie takes cash for a little Las Vegas vacation. I don't want to hear anything from you except thank you very much for taking me along. I'm having the time of my life. I'm looking for a one-armed pickpocket. I love being on vacation. How about you? And I thought this town had no action. But thanks for the great weekend in Vegas. Kovacs could be in any of these offices. You're blaming this on me, aren't you, Charlie? Or are you still just mad that I didn't jump at your vacation offer? Hey, you want to turn down an all-expense-paid vacation to Vegas. That's your problem. I didn't turn it down, Charlie, but you only asked me this morning. I have plans this weekend. So stay home and watch Rocky and Bullwinkle. I don't care. In the meantime, figure out a way to find Kovacs, since you felt the need to throw away his sweet number. So who told you to write the sweet number down on the cheeseburger wrapper? There's nothing wrong with that. You shouldn't have thrown it away before you checked it over. Now we've got no way of getting at this guy. Short of yelling fire and emptying a building. Walk. Let's don't run, please. Don't use the elevator, use the stairwell. Pancake with hair when you flew out of there. Listen, Charlie. About that vacation, I think I can make it. Huh? What did I 
I tell you? You told me we were staying at a luxurious Las Vegas resort, Charlie. Why are we stopping here? What are you talking about? We're here. This is it. Take it easy. I'm coming. This must be the energetic Al Martoni guest arrival team who will greet us with smiles and eagerly see to all our check-in needs. I don't see any cascading fountains, Charlie. Oh, and uh, not to nitpick, but where's the championship 18-hole golf course only moments away? Um, no, no. See the asterisk down there? Right here at the end? Asterisk denotes phase two construction. Now, they're supposed to start this fall or next, and so they told me. Okay, you didn't see the asterisk. Quit complaining. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this place. Drop this stuff in our suite. The name's Battles. Battles. We're special VIP guests of Mr. Martoni. Okay. What do you mean there's no reservation? Check again. Rechecking. VIP suite, free steak and eggs breakfast, buffet dinner to works. Still rechecking. Charlie. I don't want to hear anything from you except thank you very much for taking me along. I'm having the time of my life. I was thinking more along the lines if we left right now, we could get to a real casino with a real guest arrival team in under an hour. We're going to stay here, okay? We're going to stay here and we're going to have fun. Hey, I've been robbed. Somebody stole my wallet. I had it just a minute ago when I left the roulette table. I'm very sorry, sir. Police. Do you have any idea who it was? What are you doing? Putting that thing up. You're not a cop this weekend. You're the guest of a guest of Al Martoni. All right, Charlie. Relax. Enjoy the checking in process. As it turns out, sir, I'm off this weekend. Maybe you should notify the able Al Martoni security team who will deal swiftly and confidently with all your security needs. Sir, write your name down here. Somebody will be able to help you in just a second. Better keep an eye on your money out there. He's the third one today. Look. Bonnie, don't worry about my money. Just look for my reservation. Al will fix this up. We're probably in some VIP computer. She doesn't know to check. Wait a minute, Charlie. I know this tuxedo. I told you that. You don't want to believe it, but 20 years ago, Al Martoni was just as big as Sinatra. He'd have been in the Rat Pack, except I think it was uh, Joey Bishop took the last spot. He's one of the greats. And why does he do that album commercial late at night, right before Preacher Features? Where they try and make you believe that he's singing to a packed house, but it's all dark around him? Hey, the bottom line is he still sells albums. Let's see how many of the screaming memes you listen to are still around in 20 years. <laughs> screaming memes. Nobody sings Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Oh, Charlie, I think I found the uh, cascading fountains. Cheech! Charlie! 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 Why is Al answering to Cheech, Charlie? That's what his closest friends call him. Hey, Cheech! What the hell happened to my deluxe suite and my free steak and eggs breakfast? You kidding? You mean they didn't have... Joey! I'm sorry. I apologize, Charlie. Heads will roll for this. I kid you not. Joey, where the hell are you? There goes your Boy, shot at most popular guest. Here. If you want something done, you gotta Jeez. do it yourself. Joey! No, hey. hey! I'm telling you, Joey! Not that big a deal. Relax. Oh, yes, it is that big a deal, Charlie. I'm personally gonna take care of this because everybody else in here is gonna be looking for work. Joey! Cut that spot, will you, please? All right, girls. Go do something. Uh, get a hot dog or something, all right? All right, let's see. Come on, big guy. Let me see what you got. Still got it? Huh? Come on. Come on. Whoa! Whoa! Can I be getting that old? <laughs> you don't look it. No? Uh, it's probably just the tux. Uh, light blue tends to take off a few years. Why don't you just thank the guy for inviting you here? Oh, no. Come on, Charlie. Please. You're embarrassing me. You must be Pappas. 
You invited Pappas. Eh, well, what's the difference? You're here, aren't you? Pappas caught the stomach flu. Otherwise, it'd be Pappas here at Thanking Al. Oh, call me Cheech. Hey, I want you to do me a favor, too, please. Whatever you do, do not argue with this man. I'll tell you why not. Something about Charlie Battles that you should tuck into that head full of hair of yours and never forget. I was a miserable man working in a box business. I mean, make a lot of money, because everybody needs boxes. But all I wanted to do was sing and spread a little joy. And this man, this man saw something that came up from out of the streets who could very easily have made the wrong turn in life. And he supported me. He gave me money to feed myself and chase my dream. You could never money, by the way, I might add, that was in very short supply. The government would not allow us to Now, I can say honestly that it wasn't for this man. This man I call my friend. I wouldn't be the man who's standing here before you today. I remember you just so before sad. I left. Was holding a what the hell's so funny? The yeah, that's pretty good. First prize was 20 years. Yuri, come down here. Cut that crap out. I want you to meet a couple of people. This is Yuri Bykoff. I discovered him a couple of months ago. He's a very funny guy. This is my friend, Charlie Battles. You are the Charlie Battles, the legendary Charlie Battles. They've even heard of you back in the USSR, Charlie. Who'd you bust over there? Alice told me so much about you. What a great American you are. What a great humanitarian. Don't say it. No, really. He was uh, explaining to me what a big help you are in making him an international star. I am hoping...